Hi, yes, hello, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. We are nearing the end of the 2024 Halloween season. I know, I, I can't believe it. This is the last full week of Halloween, and we are kicking it off with the original 1979 film. The Amityville Horror. I know, I can't believe I haven't watched this. And I want to say that this movie, is it connected with the Annabelle? Is it connected with The Conjuring or The Exorcist? Maybe it's not connected to any of those. I know some of these scary movies like overlap in what they're about. And I I can't remember if this is a standalone or not. Also, y'all gonna have to start calling me Ranch with the way I be dressing. Uh, what y'all know about this hocus pocus button up you don't? Anyways, okay, so Amityville Horror. Um, I feel like it's one, this is another classic Halloween movie that I can't believe I haven't seen yet. Um, again, I am a little chicken turd, so we're not surprised that I haven't seen this one. I don't know if this is, if, if this is a demonic scary or if this is like serial killer scary. I don't know which one this is. Um, regardless, I'm excited about it. Also, just a reminder, last full week of Halloween, every upload in October has a secret phrase. You could win a PlayStation 5 this year for Halloween, okay? So each movie has a different secret phrase hidden either somewhere in the video, in the description box, or in the pinned comment. And the pinned comment's always going to be by me, okay? So be sure you find those secret phrases. All you got to do is comment the secret phrase under that YouTube video. Also, there's two uploads on the second channel. One's going live tomorrow. It's where I'll go ghost hunting. At the Stanley Hotel. Yes, the Stanley Hotel that inspired The Shining. There's a tour video up right now. But uh, Tuesday, the 22nd, the ghost hunting video goes live. So, there's secret phrases hidden in those. There's secret phrases in every single movie in October. So, I hope you've been finding those secret phrases. And of course, liking and subscribing so you never miss an upload and a chance to enter. So, until then, I don't know anything else about Amityville Horror. Let's get into it. No more diddle dally. Let's get right on into today's Millennial Movie Monday, which is the 1979 Amityville Horror. Wait a second, isn't the Amityville Horror based off a true story? The Amityville Horror. I don't know any of these names in the intro credits so far, so... Oh, based on the book. Okay, well, I didn't know there was a book! And we're not surprised by that. shooting people is there anybody left in the house alive November 13th 1974 Amityville Long Island a mother father and four of their children murdered no apparent motive it's execution style only the mother shot in the head Wow I guess 3 3 15 the devil's hour Well, he has fabulous hair. How long have you been waiting? What oh, just a couple hour? of minutes. <laughs> be careful, don't trip. I mean, it is a beautiful house. Let's be real. It's a very pretty house. That's a wood-burning fireplace. Oh. Be nice on cold. Yep, yep. I love it. Needs a different wallpaper. That's a lot of green. George, I don't think. Be cool. Uh, would you, like to... you don't think what? What's wrong? We just got married. Why are they being weird? Uh. Oh, great. We're going to be having flashbacks. Love that for me. Uh, this is the bathroom connecting with the next bedroom. Do they know what happened here? Two boys and a girl. Great kids. Uh huh. Where are they? Ooh. Ooh, did you see the blood on his head? Look at all the mirrors! Y'all can get real freaky in here. 
Now, aren't you supposed to disclose if people got killed in the house? Uh, honey, eighty thousand dollars for that big of a house? It's a steal. Shell out for mooring charges, which they're raising, by the way. You could also sell your boat. I wish that uh, all those people hadn't died here. Oh, they know. Never mind. <laughs> Yay! For putting in an offer. That's a big deal. We're not getting too close to the river. <gasps> so they got the house. Okay, fun. What do you want to do with this? Keep it handy. She's being so careless. Get a couple of beers and go outside and play? I like that idea. You can't just be coming into somebody's house. Mm -mm, don't start that. Don't open the window. Just exit the house and walk around. Oh! Why are there so many flies? Ooh, not the flies on him. Are they gonna come back home to a priest's dead body in a bedroom? Is that what's about to happen here? Ooh, I hate this. It's gross. Oh! You ain't gonna tell me twice. I will simply ski diddly daddle right the f*** out of there. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. I don't blame you. It's okay. Get sick. Do what you gotta do. Amy. What the hell? Why are y'all smiling like it's cute? Where is she? What is she doing? <laughs> Not those two matching. Not old Annabelle's raggedy Ann looking. Hello. Hello. It's okay. Take your time. Kathy, Kathy, can you hear me? Kathy. The demon's not letting the call through. Ooh. It's still coming after him, even though he left the house. I think Ma Bell's gone wacko again. What? Who's Ma Bell? Got her doll with her. Yeah, she's sleeping with it. Okay, George ain't doing so great. So 72 feels like 30. I was gonna say, your house is above 70? You think it's cold? Ooh, close call on that spider web. Couldn't catch me down in that basement. Nuh-uh. No, sir. Oh, kiddo. Oh, Lord. What a mess. Look at her getting all dolled up. Cute. In the little undies. What are you doing, girl? Ballet? Okay. I look at you all the time. Tits out everything. Good gravy, ma'am. Why she got on like one leg warmer? Get into it, you guys. Yeah. I want to be the best. I don't want you to have any regrets. What? That's a weird thing to say. Any regrets about getting married? Yeah. 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 Get into it. Mm -hmm. Oh, the door is open and one of these kids is about to need years of therapy. ever since Adam and Eve got kicked out of the garden. Deal with what, kids? I'm confused by them. They're clearly a blended family, but like, is this his first time spending a lot of time with her kids? Who's whispering in this room? Why is the window open again? 
No, ma'am. No, ma'am. All right, so just a whole bunch of distractions here and there. Got it. Got me. Got me on that one. Fourth day. Oh, so y'all have only been living in this house for four days? Oh, well, that's okay. Accidents happen. <coughs> Don't ever do that. Oh, oh, he's not very kind right now. Look what you made me do. I made you. That wasn't his fault. You have got enough wood here to heat the whole South Shore. And you got three kids. Go grab one of them and help them bring your groceries in. Yeah, we've always been a bunch of renters, and this is the first time anyone's bought a house. That's a big deal. What do you smell? What do you smell? What, did the husband crop duster? Scary little kid. Upstairs. Mm hmm. I'm Jody. See? Mm hmm. Who is Jody? Uh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Lutz. The father's not feeling very well today. Oh, yeah, he's not doing great. He left to go there. He didn't come. We waited all day. Except for that part where y'all were on the boat. What a comb over that man has. Why is everybody gagging? Oh, it's. What is that? Ooh! Oh no! Me after Taco Bell. <laughs> and Gregory and Harry. Oh, Aunt Helene is a nun. Okay. Oh, well, that's not normal. Thank you, Captain. I have to go. I really feel terrible. If you just... Oh, no. Okay, well, you need to go back and report to your little nun friends that y'all gotta bless this house. <laughs> so it makes religious people violently ill. Got it. Oh, George does not look all right. Don't startle him. I gotta stay healthy for your brother's wedding. Uh, a wedding? That's gonna be fun. I got work to do. George looks crazy. I don't know what the hell's the matter with me. Oh. Hey, it's okay. It's fine. ED is normal. Mm. Yeah. Could be stress. It could be a multitude of things. You shouldn't be embarrassed. Ah! What? What? Just calm down. What? Mm. Does she seem all right? It is 3.15 again. All I know is I have to get back to that house. That's... I think it's going to kill you, buddy. Oh, it won't break or nothing. This demon can dismantle cars? Ooh, Harry's showing his ugly teeth. Look at his hair. Are they getting married at your house? George, you look terrible. Thanks, buddy. Um, we'll just give her one before bed, okay? Nice mouth guard, girl. The money? What money? You just had it. Now calm down, Jimmy, calm down. I can't have gotten up and walked away. And what does a demon need with $1,500? I'll write him a check. My sweetie. Aw, that's nice of you, George. I'll get the kids. Beans is snoring so loud. I don't know if it's getting picked up on camera, but she is snoring. I don't want to go to bed. I want to play with Jody. I don't want to hear anything else about Jody. I wasn't sick. I just didn't like meatloaf. <laughs> <gasps> no way. Amy, 
for Christ's sake, open the door! What is... I don't understand. What's the purpose? Is something going to happen to the babysitter or to Amy? Amy! <laughs> Amy really don't care. I have so many questions. Oh, Helene be knowing. She be knowing. Checks. Checks get canceled. Checks bounce. Well, it's the best you got. Either that's good enough for you, or you're gonna eat your own goddamn food. Ooh, ooh, George. Right, honey? I think I can make it through the reception. I don't think you can either. Well, I can't wait to see what happened with the babysitter. Here. You are so good. I am not. You're tired because I said you're tired. <laughs> you're tired because I said you're tired. <laughs> Amy still ain't let this babysitter out the closet yet? I couldn't get out. The, the door closed and it locked and I couldn't get... And Amy's sure <laughs> didn't help. Why didn't Jackie. you open the door? Why Jackie. didn't you answer me? Jackie. It's a valid question by Jackie. And weren't you told to go to bed? Go on, get out of here! Oh, them two little boys are defiant. Goddamn discipline. Ooh, well, that doesn't bode well. Yelled at me. Well, you should have opened the door. And now your mama yelled at you. What is that? Oh, the money band. Oh, okay, hey. It's don't you think you sound a little medieval? I don't know anything about the Catholic Church, so I don't know what Vatican II means. And when he was at trial, he testified that he heard voices in the house. Oh, there we go. That's what's important. The voices. The voices told me to do this. He's really making jokes about this. Since there's nothing to cover up. But I think it's bureaucratical bullshit. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Man. I know you're like Jesus' bestie, but you can't say bad words. You think your secular education gives you the right to question the church? Oops. Oopsies. Oopsie daisies. I don't know the hierarchy of priests. Aren't they all fathers? Who's the head dad? You know? Even psychotherapists lose touch with reality sometimes. Boom. Roasted. But you've seen your family. Oh, they're suggesting a vacation for little Frank. We think you should take a vacation. <laughs> I told you. Thanks for the tidbit, buddy. You're getting smaller all the time. Oh, she don't like the house. Well, I feel like this right here is a little bit of foreshadowing. And deliver these. Should have been paid yesterday. Well, you should have went to work, George. What? The guy from the IRS has been calling. Don't you have any good news? Oh, no, no, actually, I'm gonna go. Okay, that's normal. Normal people do that, for sure. You listening? Now, don't be a smart ass. Oh, you better watch your mouth, little girl. What are you two rascals doing in my room, huh? Oh, oh, oh! Gross, gross, gross! <laughs> Okay, so the demon really likes the little girl. Man, George looks like teetotal dump. Not one broken bone. Well, that's good, right? Strange that none of the bones are broken in Greg's hand. Is it strange? George was awake this whole time. Is it weird that none of the bones were broken? I don't know. <laughs> Look at him and his little whitey tidies. Which room are we in? Ooh. Ooh, all the flies are back. Which door is this? Is this the basement door? Wow. That's impressive. What was that? I don't know. You stay up here. Like hell. <laughs> she said, no, 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 no. 
God, this little kid. And then there's no flies and everything is normal. I thought that was uh, the uh, diabetes guy at first. What do you got? Beats the hell out of me. Good report. Look at his little sweater. Sarge knows something's up here. How long have you been living here? A couple of weeks. Not even. George got a bit of an anger problem. Was break in. You've got a front door that's broken out. Oh, that's a good point. And she's playing with her wedding ring, so everything's being thought about right now. She's gonna say that she wants to move, which I don't blame her, but I'm just saying, I think she's gonna say that. What's all going wrong? That's a great question. Jody says everything's gonna get better. Mm -hmm. Why does Jody say that? Mm -hmm. She tells me things too. Like what? He got hurt and he died. Wow, Jody! We live here forever and ever, so we can all play together. Oh, well that's fun. Okay. Be careful. All this weird stuff going on, and you're gonna let your kids run around and play by themselves? You gonna steal from a library? <laughs> he knows and he's like, mm, I don't think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I love that sweater. So many good cardigans and sweaters in this movie. Listen to what I'm telling you. <laughs> she can't. She cannot. Oh, he's not doing great. He's not doing well. Is he gonna die before he can even go on vacation? Is she finally gonna see Jody? Who is this man? It's all right, isn't it? Who's everybody? It's just you. Hello? Is she gonna die? Where did he go? Was he not real? Are you all right? I mean, you look terrible. Hey, uh, so many people have told him that. Kid, you know he was sitting right in that seat where you are when he was arrested. What, what kid? You know the house down by the river. Hey, you're the spitting image. And guess what? I live in that house. With three kids, you buy a big house with mortgages up to. You. You change your... I mean, that is a lot of people. That's really a lot great. of things going on. Ooh, I don't think you had to punch him. Loves music. For the Bible tells me so. Yes, Jesus loves. Oh, great heavens! The window. She went out the window. Well, that explains why it's always open. The grunt scared the shit out of me, not the eyeballs. You build this house exactly where you're living. Oh, great. Great. Big the hardcore rationalist. You know, everything in life cannot be explained. George looks wild. Take Kathy out to dinner. Carolyn and I. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Jeff. I gotta see it for myself. You gotta see the house? I gotta see the basement. That's where it's coming. Are you crazy? Get the hell away from it for a couple of hours. If it'll let you. They think it's like you and I do. Demons do that for real? They left him here to die. Why are we not investigating what Harry is scratching at? There are people buried here. What? Oh. Harry's paws are not doing good. This isn't your house, but feel free to do that, I guess. 
Oh, we really doing this? We really tearing this house apart? Okay. What is it? Let me see. What? 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 It's yourself? Girl, are you okay? The passage to hell? Carolyn's not doing great. I hope Carolyn won an award for her role because she was creepy just then. I'm sick of playing phone tag with this man. Woo wee, George is looking rough, rough. This man is dedicated to his job if he's going to do an independent stakeout. It's about time that happened. What's it covered in? Just dirt? Oh, that could fall down and hurt you. Why would you stand under it? Ooh, what was that on her hand? Kathy? No, don't touch me! On her body? What's on her body? Here, I've seen it. I've experienced it. So why didn't you have his back when the car acted weird? Both of mind and body. That... Oh, no. Well, that's not good. Give them strength of mind and body. Oh! Like, does this guy not see that angel falling apart? I can't see. You can't see? You can't see? Blind. Oh, so the angel wasn't really falling apart. The angel didn't really fall apart. Well, that explains why the guy dressed in all black did not know what was going on, because he did not see it. Like a marching drum snare? Oh, I bet that hurt it. I bet that did not feel good. I don't think that was the demon's fault, but... Let me tell you what I would do if my house was being crazy and my husband was missing in the middle of the night. Not get up and inspect it. Nope. I'm gonna keep my head right in the bed. No! for a while now, George. I'm sorry if I woke you. Honey. Oh, I'm crying. Oh, look. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What is that? Looks like teeth marks. Will you stop nagging at me? Not even nagging at you, homie. You're the one that wanted a house. This is it, so just shut up. Valid point by him. Bad. Sergeant hoping that if George decides to kill his whole family that he's going to be able to stop him and catch him? Oh yeah, he didn't go on vacation. He needed a little break in the mental hospital, didn't he? What makes you think this man wants to hear you read him his mail? Certainly is beautiful here. He wouldn't know. He can't see. You see, he's an old friend and I can't get the story right. Oh, there's no... A lot. Crank over there. You turn that crank that, and... That one there? Right there. It advances okay. the... Oh, she's doing the research herself. Oh, this demon ain't gonna be happy with this. Oh, my God, it does look like George. It does look like George. What you digging, George? What you digging over there? The last night. So they made it there almost a month-ish. No! No! 
kids. Any of them. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's definitely not supposed to happen. So they're all hiding in the bathroom from their dad. Oh, good job getting him. Ah! Ooh, why is she all wrinkly? Kathy was hella wrinkly there for a second. Oh, be careful, don't run too fast. The stairs are covered in blood. Oh, so y'all are in the house. Y'all are stuck in the house. All right, all three kids, both the parents. And now we just leave. Listen, it sucks we're leaving the dog, but we gotta do this, y'all. What? What's he doing? Is he going back to get Harry? Okay, well. Choice to be made, I guess. Why is that little girl smiling? Oh my god, Jody's gonna kill George! I bet Harry's already dead. Harry's already dead, has to be. Harry? Oh, oh, please. <laughs> Turn your ass around, sir. Oh, found the well. Ooh, goodness gracious. Oh, no, Harry bit the dad. I can't tell if Harry is helping or hurting. Oh, the door shut. Oh, George and Harry made it out of the house. That's good. George and Kathleen Lutz and their family never reclaimed their house or their personal belongings. Today they live in another state. And it's over. Okay, well, let's talk about it. Well... I have officially seen the original Amityville Horror from 1979, and I gotta say, with the exception of about three jump scares, one being a cat in the window, and the second one being when the stairs fell through right there at the end and he fell into the well, and I feel like there was a third one somewhere in the movie, um, it didn't really do it for me. Didn't really do it for me. And I, if y'all don't know, if you do remember... I was raised in a very Christian, like, religious household, and so that's why, like, The Exorcist scared me so much, because demon possession, when I was growing up, is, like, real, you know? And so I'm kind of surprised that I watched a movie about demons, and I was like, hmm, I don't know if it's because it was a slow burn. I don't know. Or maybe, maybe I've just had so many scary movies this month with so many back-to-back -back jump scares that, it, like, I wasn't able to, like, calm down. I mean, because I'm looking at the... You know, Halloween 2 had some good jump scares. I mean, Pet Cemetery, it was oldie but a goodie. You know, It Chapters 1 and 2 had a lot of CGI and a lot of jump scares, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It didn't really it didn't really do it for me. So, at the end of the day, at least I can finally say that I have seen the Amityville Horror movie. And you know, I'm going to I'm going to have people in the comments that said you should have skipped this one and watched the remake, but if I watched the remake, so many of y'all would have said you should have watched the original first. Regardless, I have officially seen the 1979 Amityville Horror. It doesn't do anything for me. But at least I can say that another guy, I got another classic movie under my belt. So it's not a loss. It is not a loss at all. I'm going to give this, like, I don't know. It's not as bad as Buffy, I'll tell you that. I'm going to give this two out of five stars for me. Meh. I wouldn't watch it again. I'd watch the remake. I'd watch the remake, but I wouldn't watch this one again. Meh. Hey, 
you win some, you lose some. I could see how back in 1979 that this would scare some of y'all, but me today? Nah, I'm good. So anyways, that's my take on the 1979 Amityville Horror. I hope you like, subscribe, stick around. Coming up this, well, actually tomorrow on the channel, October 22nd, me and Hubbin ghost hunting at the Stanley Hotel, one of the most haunted hotels in America on the second channel. You don't want to miss that. I'll link the second channel up here and in the description box. And then Wednesday, we got the Burbs with Tom Hanks. And this Friday, we got 1408 filmed at the Stanley Hotel. So night vision, scary movie filmed at the Stanley Hotel. So I hope you like, subscribe, stick around. The last two movies have not been decided on. So that means there's polls still up over there on my Patreon. If you want to throw in your two cents, literally or metaphorically, feel free to do so description or a link is in the description box. So I hope to see you over there as well. Until then, I hope you like, subscribe, keep an eye out for those secret phrases. Okay, don't forget about the giveaway, the PS5 giveaway, and I will see you in the next upload. Bye.